Hey America Now, you saw the title, Salt Encrusted Sea Bass Red Snapper. All right guys, now salt encrusted, you guys are gonna be amazed. It's not gonna be salty salty, all right? The salt that I'm about to use, and I'll show you my support and cast in a second, all of that is gonna be pretty much part of my cooking vessel. It's gonna turn into kind of like my, the pot kind of, the uh, cooking implement, but you guys will see that piece, all right guys? Now, uh, I've seen this recipe before, but I actually also had some uh, salt encrusted sea bass when I was in Kuwait, all right? A restaurant called uh, Great Fish, I believe it was called, and it was right there on the side of the Arabian Gulf. Great restaurant right along the, uh, the main drag, all right? Uh, right along Gulf Road in Kuwait. Anyway, um, let me introduce my supporting cast, all right? First of all, guys, boom, right there. You need some good, fresh, fish all right now i got some red snapper two of them one two and also got four small uh, sea bass now you can tell your fish is fresh guys take a look at that when their eyes are clear all right when their eyes are clear all right you with me on that one now okay now here shout out shout out i got this fish from a place called ramsey um fish market ramsey street uh fish market Shout out, shout out, and they do a great job. Fish, they clean it, gut it, scale it, and all that stuff right there in front of you, okay? Now, along with that, guys, we got uh, my aromatics, some lemon, okay? I got some parsley, okay? I got some bay leaf, all right? I couldn't find fresh, so I got some uh, dried bay leaf, obviously some garlic, I got some fresh basil, and I got some fresh thyme, okay? Uh, let me turn these around, because I feel like an idiot. <laughs> fresh basil and fresh thyme. All right, guys. Also, in order to make my uh, in order to make my uh, encrusted uh, salt, I got some egg whites. All right, great value. Yeah, the economy's bad. I'm trying to save some money, and also got some kosher salt. Now, guys, you need to use some uh, coarse grain, coarse ground kosher salt or sea salt or something like that. You want big granule granules. All right, guys. But I'll show you how all that piece comes together. Now, I got the little carton of egg whites because I didn't want to crack a whole bunch of eggs and separate the whites from the yolks because I ain't making no custard or nothing. I don't want to be wasting a bunch of yolks, all right? So I just bought some egg whites, all right? Because I'm doing a total of six fish. You feel me on that one, guys? Let me do my prep work and then we can uh, continue on with this whole process. You guys are gonna love this, all right? Peace. Hey, America, we're back. Now, <clears throat> all the prep work's done and most of the fish are done too. Anyway, guys, look, prep work's done. All I gotta do is put my aromatics inside of my fish. That's what I'm getting ready to do. All the rest of them are done, five. I'm gonna do the sixth one, and y'all can just follow along with me, all right, guys? First one I'm gonna put inside of my fish, I'm gonna put, since it's such a big fish, I'm putting in three pieces of lemon right in the cavity. One, two, three. Three pieces of lemon, which is a, uh, three halves, all right? So like a circle and a half. Along with that, I'm gonna throw in some fresh basil, a couple basil, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, I'm right, basil leaves. Big fish, so I'm gonna throw in a pretty good amount of them, twist them up a little bit, get the oils moving. Half, in there, okay? Also some fresh parsley. Pick off some of this bad boy chunk. Wow, good amount of parsley, in there. On top or below the lemons, how are you guys wanna do it? That's cool. All right, also inside there, a couple sprigs of thyme, fresh thyme, in there. That bad boy in there. And I'm gonna go with, since this is a big fish, I'm gonna go with two dried bay leaves. I couldn't get fresh. These are small, so I'll go with three. Pal, bay leaves, in there. One, two, and three. All right, I wanna push everything up inside there, guys, and kind of have it so that it's closed, all right, by the time I start uh, putting the salt on top of it. All right, guys, you let me prep one, two, three, four. All of those are done the same way, and the two red snappers done all the same way. Let me get my uh, salt uh, mixture together. Uh, let's take a look at it, because I'm gonna eyeball it, and then we'll start with putting it all together so we can put it in the oven. All right, guys, all right, America, we're back. And this bowl here is a combination of the, uh, the salt, that I had in there, okay? And I used the egg whites. I made the consistency pretty much as if you're gonna make a, a, a snowball, the consistency of some damp snow, about that kind of consistency, all right, guys? Now, I laid out a base right there. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of garlic on the bottom where my fish is gonna lie. Keep 
here and here. Okay, a little bit of garlic. This ain't mandatory. Okay, from here, I'm gonna put my fish in. All right, red snapper one. Previously seen, already stuffed and all that good stuff. All right, guys. And over here, I'm gonna put red snapper two. Once again, already stuffed with my aromatics and all of that. Now, I'm just gonna encrust it with the rest of this salt. Let me put some garlic on top of this, just a little bit. Just for the giggles of it. A little bit of garlic on top of that. Just for the giggles of it. All right, now I'm gonna encrust this. All right, guys. Take some salt. On top, put it on top. More salt, put it on top. So, put it on top. Now I'm gonna encrust this completely in salt. All right, guys. Now I've seen a lot of recipes where they say you don't have to cover the head and the tail, but the recipe what I tasted in Kuwait, they did cover the fish completely. So that's what I'm gonna do. Really good, completely. A little more salt, there, over here. All right, guys. Well, in this case, since I got a little salt, that's it. Yep, I use a lot for the bottom for the paste. Um. All right, guys, there it is, America, all encrusted. Yeah, I left little bits of the tails out. That's not important, but anyway, there it is. Sea bass, red snapper. All right, now I'm gonna stick it in the oven. I got it at 375. I'm putting it in there for about 30 minutes for the sea bass, maybe oh, 45 minutes failure, for right? the, uh, the red snapper. Now, there's been a change, all right? I went back and looked around. I got my oven at 400 degrees, all right? And I'm gonna let both pans of fish go about 45 minutes to an hour because I'm cooking more fish. I got the red snapper, which are bigger than the example I saw, and I got four sea bass as opposed to two. So I'm gonna go a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. I'm also gonna check for the uh, salt to get kind of brownish as if it was cooked, so I make sure it gets all hard and all that. All right, guys, here it is right here. In the oven, look at that. See it, see it, see it, nice. All right, um, let it cook for a little bit while longer. Once it's done, guys, we'll bring back and then we'll hope this works out. You know I ain't never done this before, right? So we're gonna break this bad boy out, crack him out and see how it worked out, okay? All right, America, more on the truth. All right, it's been about 45 minutes later, all right? Once again, at 400 degrees, and here it is, right there, pow! All right, y'all see how it's brown along the edges? And this right here is hard, all right? That's pretty much a shell, all right? This is the sea bass. This right here is a red snapper. You see little tails, once again, that's hard. Okay, now guys, I'm gonna let this um, I'm gonna let it rest about 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, I'm gonna crack this out. We start fixing plates and then my girls, I'll tell y'all how this tastes. All right guys, you with me on that one? So let me get that done and we'll be American look. I already got the fish out, taken it out of the uh, salt that was crusted, broken out of that bad boy. The bone, the skin, we got fillets and uh, my babies is out here. All right, DC, how it taste, baby? Was it good? Yes. It was good, right? Yes. All right, Shayla? What do you think? It was good? All right, come on, here it is. Bump, 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 bump. Let me get, get out of the light. Taste test. Good? Too salty? Nope. Can't hardly taste the salt at all, Okay, That's right, y'all, I'm telling you. That's the way we do it. Let me bust these uh, red snappers out, and then uh, I'll let you guys take a look see. All right, all right, America, we're about to bust these red snappers out. Check this out. I can crust off this bad boy. I'm gonna show y'all all of this because it's gonna take a while. But as y'all see, the salt is pretty much damn near pottery. Y'all seen that, guys? Now, let me get the rest of this fish out. I can take the bones out, the flesh off, I'll give it a taste, and you guys can get an opinion on how this bad boy tastes other than my daughter's. All right, guys, you feeling me? So give me a second to knock this out. All right, America, there it is. All right, the fish out. All right, I'm clear. I done clean most of the salt off of that bad boy, but this has already been taken off the bone and all that good stuff. Now, my wife tried it. I tried it. Not salty. Tastes fantastic. 
All right, y'all, so it's simple, too easy. Y'all see how to do it. Ain't that hard, y'all take care. I'll see you when I see you.